Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be another video where I'm creating my own version of a palette. This is based on the new Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. This is not out yet. They just showed a promo picture this weekend, but I fell in love with it. I thought that it was so, so beautiful. But like I said in my last video, which was the same type of video for the Natasha Denona Bronze palette, I am so overwhelmed with how much eyeshadow I have right now. I have over 60 palettes, including my magnetic palettes. So I really do not need to be buying another one. However, I will say that at the beginning of this year, I did a video about brands that I want to try and Melt Cosmetics is on that list. And I still do want to try it. So maybe this is a palette I will purchase later on down the road. Like I said, it is beautiful. So I'm gonna go through my collection and show you some colors that I think are similar. Now, of course, these are not exact dupes. I have not seen the palette, you know, but I'm just shopping my stash for similar colors. And then at the end, I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial just like I did in my Natasha Denona video. I gotta say, I really do like how this look turned out. If you are interested in this palette, please, please let us know. Like I said, it is beautiful. Alrighty, let's get into the video. This palette is based on their She's In Parties stack, which was very, very popular, and it was four different eyeshadows, a peachy shimmer, a burgundy type shimmer, a deep plum matte, and then a more medium mauve matte shade. And so they did say that all four of those colors are in this palette combined with four new colors. Based on what I could see on the Melt Cosmetics Instagram where I got this photo, it does look like they added a lighter purpley matte, a lighter purpley shimmer, and then two deeper purpley shimmers as well. Like I said, this is a really, really beautiful color story, but I looked through my collection and I definitely found similar colors. Starting out with the Saharan 2, I mean, peachy shimmery shades are very, very common. This one here in this palette is one of my favorites, although I do think that the one in the stack is a bit more pink than this. Yeah, so this is more of a peachy golden shade, but again, I'm sure I have more in my collection. I didn't look too hard for this one because I gotta say it's probably the least unique out of this palette. I did watch some videos last night of people reviewing and doing tutorials on the She's In Parties stack because four of those colors are exactly the same in the palette. And I did see, this, see that a lot of people were kind of upset because if you already have the stack, you already have half the palette. So if you bought it, you know, you'd have redundant shades. All right, the next one, Juvia's The Berries palette. And I'm wearing some of these colors today. I gotta say, I think this has a lot of similar type colors. Now, there aren't really any hot pink type colors in the Melt palette, but there's definitely some deep plum burgundy mattes, and this plummy reddish burgundy metallic is so beautiful. That's one of the shades I'm wearing that you'll be seeing in the tutorial. But this is a really good palette. I've been trying to use my monochromatic palettes more. This is fantastic, Juvia's quality, amazing. And these little palettes from Juvia's are $14. So yeah, here's some of those colors. Juvia's mattes do not swatch well, but they look really good on the eyes. So yeah, this one is fantastic. I really do like that palette. Now for the lighter purpley shades, which are new to the palette that they did not have in the stack, I pulled out the Lilac You A Lot by ColourPop. And I think, you know, that lightish purple Hard to tell again from the promo photo, but these two here I do think could be similar. Um, you know, I love lavender shimmers. So that's this one from the ColourPop palette. And I do think this matte purple here could also give some similar effects as well. The Lilac You A Lot is amazing, by the way. I really like this palette and I love the ColourPop formula, so Nothing surprising there. Um, okay, and then for matte shades, I pulled out my Dose of Colors palettes. This one I got in the Boxy Pop-Up in May, and I finally used it, and it is really nice. I love this formula, though. I've talked about it a lot. It is very pigmented and powdery, but it blends out very nicely. So I think if you have this palette already, you know, these three colors here definitely pull in some similar tones as the Melt palette. 
yeah, this is such a good palette. I'm wearing some of these colors as well, which you'll see in the tutorial. Fantastic, absolutely. Really happy I got this. I got it for so cheap in the boxy pop-up. I think it was only $12. One of the colors that is in the original stack is a very mauve type color. And I think it's pretty similar to this based on the swatches I saw. I mean, I think, you know, these mauve shades here would work really well to blend out some of these plums and burgundies. Um, definitely, again, I love this dose of colors formula. It's absolutely fantastic. So I think if you have either of these palettes, you're pretty set on the mattes, you know, in my opinion, just kind of purely based on the picture. But of course, the melt palette is beautiful, so... I may still get it at some point. We shall see. Another palette, this I don't think is as similar to the Melt one, but I thought I'd pull it out anyway, the Natasha Denona Mini Lila, because you do get these plummy purples here, which I do think bears some resemblance to the Melt palette from what I can tell. You know, this one is more purple, and then you have one that is more plum. Yeah, this plum one I think is pretty similar. This is more purple than what I could tell that the palette is pulling. But again, I gotta say that is the thing about eyeshadow and I've said this in other videos. Things may look slightly different in a swatch, but then once you put it on the eyes, it's really not that different, honestly. So that's something to keep in mind. I've just noticed that from having a very large palette collection. And then another one that I think has a few similar colors is the Norvina palette. I love this one quite a bit. This color here, Volatile, is definitely kind of similar to that mauve -y color that is in the original stack. This is a really pretty color. I definitely should be using this one more. So this one I think is really good for blending out purples. And this has two dark purple shades as well. I'm not sure how similar they are to the ones in the Melt palette, but again, on the eyes, it's just like you never know with these things. Often... Things look different, but on the eye, they're not that different. <laughs> Up here are the two shimmers from the Norvina palette. So yeah, overall, I think there are a few similarities to this one. Oh, and you do get a dark matte burgundy as well. Alrighty, and the last palette I think that would work well is the Violets by Juvius. This is similar style to the Berries one, $14. And this definitely... You've got two dark purple metallics in this one. This is a more cool toned palette. This, I think you could work in the crease to really blend out some of these shades. And then also there is a light lavender metallic, which does appear to be kind of similar to one of those new shades. I do like that they added in those two lighter purples because I think that that goes very well with the theme of the palette. So it's a really nice color story, I gotta say. So here are these two lighter colors from the Juvia's palette. Like I said, these do not swatch well, but on the eyes, they look amazing. Alrighty, so looking at these colors, I gotta say, I think I could do a lot of looks that would be similar to looks I would do with the Melt palette. I definitely have similar colors. Again, not exact, I've never seen the palette, but I do think I have a lot of similar shades where I could do some fun looks with them. So yeah, that is it for the Shop My Stash portion. Please let us know, are you getting this palette? Like I said, it is beautiful and let's roll into this tutorial. Alrighty, let's do the eye look. I am going to start with the Marvelous Mauves palette. Go with this middle shade here, which is a taupey type purple. I probably put a little bit too much of that color on. These uh, Dose of Colors palettes are very, very pigmented. Alrighty, gonna go into the Blushing Berries palette. Go with this dark purpley color there. Gonna put that in the outer corner. Oh, by the way, the two brushes I've been using a lot lately, this is a Pro Blending from Beauty Junkies, and then this is Do Care. This is a fluffy crease, crease brush. I bought both of these on Amazon years ago for pretty cheap, and they're quite good. I 
back into the crease brush for blending and yeah i'm using a lot of different palettes for this look but that is just how i like to do my makeup to combine different things and i gotta say it does sometimes help me from buying other palettes that have all the colors together if that makes sense all right and then, then the berries palette from juvius i'm gonna go with this dark red shimmer here and i am gonna spray my brush Alrighty, I am really, really liking this combo. I'm going to use this dark purple just a little bit more in the outer corner. A little more blending. I really do use the same technique lately. I've been doing pretty much this exact thing every day. I just change the colors that I use and I do feel like it's been working pretty well, at least, you know, for my preferences and eye shape. All right, I did some liner and for the lower lash line, I just have black eyeshadow on this and I'm going to stamp that here. All right, then the same dark purple that I used on the outer corner. Then I'm going to go with this more burgundy color here from the Juvia's Berries palette. All right, for inner corner, I want to do a lavender color type there. And I, this is train wreck. I'm going to go with this. This is from the Lilac You A Lot palette. If you have the Juvia's, the Violets palette, you know, you could definitely use that because there are some similar shades there too. This was not looking purple enough, so I did add this light purple shimmer as well. Mix in with this one for the inner corner. All right, I got a little bronzer, mascara going, and for blush, I want to go with Bellini. This is from Wander Beauty, one of my favorite blushes ever. Absolutely love it. For highlighter, I'm going to use this one here. This is from M Cosmetics Peach Silk one of my favorite indie highlighters ever. It is amazing. Alrighty, for lips, I do want to go with a pinkish look. I'm going to go with the ColourPop Just a Tint Lippy Tint in the Strand. This is a really nice color. I definitely should be using this more. These have color, but they're not, you know, super opaque. Decent amount, though. I just want to add a little bit of gloss. Pat McGrath, I know, I'm obsessed. Dare to Bear, this is such a good formula. And this is a light peachy pink. Alrighty, that is it for this look. I really, really like how it turned out. I gotta say, I'm really into this color combination. I don't know that I would have thought to pair burgundies with plums and purples together. You know, I should have. It's amazing. I love it. It is a really beautiful palette. Please let us know, are you getting it? I may get it at some point, but I definitely do want to see reviews first. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.